and welcome to another Opticus Radicus tutorial on modeling a Velociraptor with the skin modifier and dynamic retopology. Uh, this will be a mini part series on modeling this, sculpting this, uh, retopologizing this, UV unwrapping it, uh, texturing it, rigging it, all kinds of fun stuff. Alright, so let's get started. Here we go. Blender. Blender has been crashing a lot on me. Um, so I'm going to delete this and we'll start from the beginning here. Um, Shift C, I'll oh, start in the corner. Um, I'm not going to run screencast because it crashes my blender. Alright, we'll try. It's probably going to crash it. Alright, so you'd start, go with N. Go over to your background images, add image, open. Uh, I'll provide a link to this uh, raptor side there. Uh, we're going to bring the opacity down. Uh, I like yay. Alright, uh, shift A, add a plane, 7 on your numpad, our top view, tab W, subdivide, uh, border select these vertices right here, delete them. Delete this uh, vertice and this vertice. Go to your modifiers, add a mirror modifier. Uh, you want to mirror it on the y axis. Uh, hit N, make that go away, we don't need it. Um, we're going to add a, two more modifiers here. We're going to get the skin modifier, and then we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. And real quick, we're going to go to our center vertice right here, and we're going to hit mark root. This is our pivot point, our hip. So go back to one to our side view tab into object mode, screen us along right here, and scale it out to a good proportion right there. That'll, that'll work for me. Alright, tab, um, not hide, grab, so let's get the basics here. So control A is to scale in uh, with the skin modifier. So get this leg right here, and it needs to be brought in quite a bit. Let's see. Okay, we're going to do it like that, actually. Scoot it down. Alright, sorry. Just follow along. Alright. So... Don't want that. All right. Screwed. Scale. Extrude. Scale. And we're just gonna be extruding and scaling these points. So when you extrude it, just Control A, scale it out, um, screw it down, and you get the idea. You're just gonna follow this silhouette right here. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be sculpting on it and sculpting is the best it's a real free form you can almost do what you want within limitations but you can really just kind of get down and it's really fun once you get the hang of it so you are just well, won't mess with you so when it, when, it, when it goes crazy like that that's bad you want to leave it alone ah, yeah. alright so we got our shoulder bone right there um, we're just going to keep going up and get the, uh, the neck the next section done here real quick because I've tried it before where I do the arms first and it is not digging that at all let's scale that out a little bit let's screw this over that scale the nose down it's got a kind of a jaw structure thing going which is pretty good actually um, out up a little. That's not too bad. That, that's that's fine. Save the heck out of this. All right. So where it goes crazy is with these arms. It doesn't like these arms at all. So we're gonna screw that out right there and scale it down. Actually, not too bad this time. Prove me wrong, Blender. So before in the other takes, Blender crashed about six times uh, for some reason. And I cussed and screamed. 
I smoked a cigarette, and then now everything's working better now. Alright. So you can see how fast uh, dynamic, re I'm sorry, the skin modifier is for uh, for creating base meshes. meshes. It's revolutionary. It cuts hours off your day with nice, even topology all the way through. So we've got a big butt on this uh, dinosaur here. Let's see if this doesn't just mess everything up. Alright. Gonna grab it on the Y. Oh, God, it just does not like that. Um, I'm going to take care of that in the uh, sculpting. We got that right there. It's got some healthy girth. Alright, so we're going to take care of the tail right now. He's got a big ass chest. You know what? Here. Let's subdivide this first off. Oh, there we go. Asshole. Alright. And again. Sorry. It was just one of those days. Carefully try to nudge this over. Right, sneak it in there. Yeah, let's check the whiffs on our still good. All right. Yeah, it's all right. First things first. Let's uh. Take these legs, and go to our three view, control three, go to solid mode, and rotate on the Z. Kind of give ourselves a little like that, and then let's see, sorry, three, and just grab it on the Y. All right. Let's see, this whole stance is a uh, Kind of scale out the whole thing if you can. Hey, let's see. Oh, that helps out a lot. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. These guys are just huge. And. Okay. That's gonna work. So, uh, quick save. <laughs> uh, shift duplicate this guy and move it to the layer underneath, right there. Got this guy. Let's apply, um, apply, and apply. All right. And that is just some messed up shit up there. Look at that. That's horrible. We're gonna delete these uh, vertices right there. We're going to make a line across here with F for face, and we're going to uh, subdivide this. So, F face, um, F face, go to 7 view. We're going to take this. You've got to have a good mesh, especially when you start sculpting. Um, I don't know why it did that to us, but it did. Pretty bad. So you can see we're almost straight down the line here. We're not even across right here. So let's just find something to even off of. We're going to go off of, I don't know, these two points right here. Okay, not too bad. So now we got ourselves uh, four sections of four, which will make for some nice sculpting base alright 
They're not too bad. I'm just gonna kind of mess with this a little bit. Uh, and I'm just selecting both of these and, and kind of scaling them in. Um, that's gonna work. So if you're wondering how we're gonna make the tail, we're just gonna go over here, uh, Control Tab, Face Mode. Uh, we're gonna get these guys right here. Uh, and I'll scale it out a little bit, and just kind of we'll we'll just round it off um, right here before we start. All right. Um. I don't know how I feel about this little. So, before I start sculpting, uh, Bl Blender uh, doesn't like these three points, especially when we start sculpting. So we actually have to remove um, those points on this this section right here. So let's just go to here, face, uh, W subdivide, face, that. Uh, same thing here. Uh, so divide it. And this might seem stupid now, but this will uh, change things later on when you start sculpting. So same thing here. And this uh, <laughs> whoops. So face first, then subdivide it. This subdividing technique I'm doing is uh, really good for making your sections there. So press the Control Seven, move to the bottom view. A, and so we want to join this section right here before so we're going to subdivide this section right here and let's see no not digging that it's kind of like a Sudoku game <laughs> alright we must have even fours everywhere and there always is a way to to have the fours happen, so don't give up. So one, two, three, four. Uh, nope. One, two. Uh, subdivide. Ah, face first. Subdivide. Nope. Cool. Face. And I have to delete that vertice. So, Alright. Whatever. That's technically five. Alright. <laughs> uh, what did I do? What did I do? Alright. So. It's kind of hard to get around that. Alright. That's good enough for now. Alright. So. Control tab, uh, select these guys right here, and you can see you can actually go from this whole section. Right there, one, extrude, and it's kind of good edge select mode. And you can see, and now we got the whole thing. One, we always want to preemptively scale that out. And Cool, got that whole thing. Grab it down, scale it out, scale it. All right. Cool, we got that right there. And then, real quick, with the one selected, go into vertex mode. Uh, Z select. I like to uh, to pick a point, zero all at the same point, and just even this out real quick, real fast. It's kind of gives you a nice equal. Uh, Extruding right here. I think that'd be perfect. Because we're going to be sculpting anyways. Cool. That'll work. Alright. Alright. Screwed. Get the deal. Give it a little rotate. Extrusion. There you go. And this pretty much concludes the base mesh modeling section of our Velociraptor tutorial. 
a little kink in the tail there. <laughs> uh, scale this out and try to normalize that kink. Not too bad. So, check it out. And our mesh is not messed up too bad. And it's really set up quite well for uh, for sculpting here. Um, I might take these guys right here and move them up on the Z. Um, I'm, you know, not the happiest with whatever the hell's going on right here, but we'll see if that messes things up or not, and we'll cut it out if it does. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped, and I'll uh, see you for the next one. We'll, we'll start uh, retopologizing this. This uh, sorry, not retopologizing. We'll start sculpting on it with uh, dynamic retopology. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.